Good morning. Day 41 in the simulator. And let's take a look at that PL. Yesterday I hit $9,000, almost $8,938. So I'm about $60 away from hitting that mark, $62. So we'll see if I can cross the $9,000 mark today. That would be great. I would love that. I'd like to hit 10,000 today, but I'm not shooting for the stars. My daily goal is 200 bucks. If I can make 200, I will be a happy camper. It's a uh, slim pickings here today, but you know, things could happen when that bell rings. So you never know what's going to happen when that bell rings. So XRTX consolidating, WYY has been consolidating. And APEN, I guess if I had to be excited about any of them, this would probably be the one that's got um, some pretty good volume, but it's been stair-stepping up. So, you know, it, there may be potential here for another move higher. We do have a support down here at $5. Bulls want to get over those two levels there. And as we stated, it's consolidated. This one's consolidating. You've got kind of a falling wedge and on this one we're just gonna watch it kind of want to see this one come up back up above the VWAP you can see it's tightening up here so it might make a move here soon one way or the other and taking a look over here at pet Z not too thrilled with this one. It's way below the VWAP and below the EMAs and trending down. It's going to draw a happy picture. I feel like, I don't know why for some reason there, I just thought of Bob Ross. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, let's get back to the main screen here. And uh, I guess I'm going to set up some stop parameters. Not really a whole lot to go over here this morning. I'm just going to kind of stare at the charts here and see what what the morning gives us it's 627 coming down and testing that line right there now and these falling wedges it's kind of hard to to get in them and put in a stop loss cuz you know with every with every low you get a little bit lower and a little bit lower. So, you know, if you've gotten in up here with a stop loss here, well, here's where you get stopped out. But the point of a falling wedge is that the bears push the price down and break the previous low, but they don't get any follow through. You notice that? And then it goes back up. Then they come back down and they do it again. They break that last low. They're still not getting any follow through. So that kind of tells you that bulls are buying the dip. Now that doesn't mean we're going to reverse and go back up. It's just the bears are struggling here. You know, there's not enough sellers to push the price down. The sellers could come in. One thing this stock has going for it, I guess, is there's a support right here. And that's what we're up against right now. So you got those two lines crossing right there. So, and the reason why that might be good is if you have people playing this descending line and you also have people playing off of this support line. So you've got, you got multiple signals here that people are playing off of. And uh, that might be, give you a better chance at seeing a reversal. So we're one minute away from the market open. I'm just setting up my stop losses. No webcam again today. I'm working some things out. Oh, I could use it, but I'm trying to get fancy and things are 
kind of all over the place right now in my trading room here. I'm doing a little uh, remodeling. All right, well, the market is open and APEN going for it right away. Breaking over this level here with basically a higher low and higher high. It's not really a higher low, but it's, you know, it's a double bottom that broke, but no follow through. So we've established a low of day here so far at 512. I might consider buying this. Got some nice volume coming into it. I'm not too awfully excited about the other two. Of course, I have to wait for that first one minute candle to finish before I can take a trade. I want to see a little pullback right there. And I'll add again. Well, that, that popped up pretty fast. I, I would have loved to have sold. Let's see if we can get through those resistances. <clears throat> I wanted to add there, but I'm already in danger of getting stopped out, so I'm not sure I want to add to that. It's a little early in the morning to know. I don't I quite have an idea what this one's going to do, but there is this level right here, and it's also the VWAP. Getting in over there on XRTX. Based on the five minute, that's what I'm looking at. Selling half on XRTX. I'm just going to move my stop loss up to close to break even there and see if see if we get a move higher. So APEN pulling back here. Definitely in danger of getting stopped out. That five minute candle. Would love to see it hold up and break through the highs. I'm going to take some profit on it right there. And I'll take some more profit there. And I'm out over here now on XRTX and hitting my daily goal. So that's all I wanted. $202. Take a look down here. Wasn't sure this one was going to hold up. It might still. It looks good, but I'm done. Um, that was some tricky trading. I was really concerned about getting stopped out. This should have went right away on this candle, and it did not. Um, as soon as I got in it, it pops up. I wasn't able to sell it right away because I couldn't reach my limit orders to drag them up. And then it fumbled around here and went sideways, so I'm taking the profit when I got it. And now looking like it might fail here. And uh, also on this one over here, XRTX, uh, the reason why I got out of that so quick is because of the lower volume on it. I mean, the volume, I guess, you know, it's not horrible, but I would like to see more volume, especially here at the open. I 
and the fact that it's trading below the VWAP. And look at APEN giving it up now. So taking profit up there and not holding was the correct move on that one for sure. Also on this one. So I'm happy about that. Glad to have made some money today. Now let's see if we get a bounce off of $5. We probably do. We got a low of day here that we broke. Yeah, I'm breaking right through it. Well, so far, not looking like a very good day. Nothing really hitting the gap scan. Here we are five minutes in. I already hit my daily goal, and I think that's going to do it for me. This is going to be a quick one. So I'm not going to sit around and, and do any more technical analysis this morning. I think I'm going to... Uh, call her a day and go back and mess around with my green screen a little more and try to get the camera working. So, uh, so hitting my daily goal up over now, up over that $9,000 mark. Yes. So sitting close to $9,200. All I need are four more daily goals and I will cross that $10,000 mark and finally hit my target that I started here back in August. That's going to be pretty exciting. So this has been Eva Trades and I want to thank you very much for taking the time to watch this and I hope you learned something and I will see you tomorrow morning back in the simulator Friday morning and don't forget um, as you see on the ticker at the bottom of your screen that I will be uh, live trading Tuesday, the small account of three trades to try to hit that daily goal and grow that small account. So do tune in for that if you get the chance and um, take care. Have some good trading today.